Hello everybody and this video is a really exciting one that I'm sure you guys are gonna love. The seagulls are already loving it but we are here on Edinburgh Medical School's main campus and I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour so you know what to look forward to if you are wanting to come study medicine here at Edinburgh University. Let's get into it. So since we're doing a tour, I think orientation is very important. So this right here is the United Kingdom. And up here is Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland. Now, Edinburgh Medical School has two main campuses. The first one is located in the southeast of Edinburgh, the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh, the main teaching hospital. And a bit more centrally is the old medical school. Our journey begins at the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh, a major acute teaching hospital located on the Edinburgh Biocorter. With a 24-hour accident and emergency department, it provides a full range of acute medical and surgical services, making it a perfect ground for the next generation of doctors. The university part of the building is called the Chancellor's Building, a name all of you will become familiar with if you choose to come to Edinburgh. Now this building is made up of a ground floor, a first floor and a second floor, which means there's a lot going on. We have a library, we have a common room, we have a clinical skills centre, as well as plenty of lecture theatres that will be in use throughout your six years here at Edinburgh. So yes, this is Shirley Hall Lecture Theatre. It's pretty popular, especially in your first and second year because you'll be coming in for lectures. And the cool thing is, sessions can be recorded as well. Okay everyone, so this is the Elsie English Suite. It is a brilliant room if you are doing a group work project. There's these different stations here, each with six chairs and a screen and a nice table so that you can work collaboratively on a presentation, let's say. It's a really nice room. So if you come up the stairs, we are now on the first floor and we have clinical skills and the library to see. So let's go check out the library first, which is just in there, and then I'll take you on a tour of clinical skills. The Royal Infirmary Library offers a spacious, modern study space. The library's collection includes general medicine, nursing material, and surgical books. Students have access to a range of services, including access to computers connected to both the university network and the NHS net, as well as the opportunity to borrow books and printing services if required. All right, so we are here in the Clinical Skills Centre. There are simulation wards here. There's a lot of dummies and things that we work with all the way from year one to year six to polish up on our practical skills. Now, those practical skills include anything from basic hand washing, venipuncture cannulation, all the way to heart sounds and a &D skills and ICU simulations as well. Edinburgh Medical School has a varied clinical skills department fully equipped with the latest technology to give you a real life experience, helping you to gain confidence in those vital communication and practical skills. It's now time that I show you Edinburgh Medical School's central campus, the Old Medical School. Alright, so we are here at the Old Medical School now, which is more centrally located in Edinburgh, near the city centre, and this is where most of the anatomy teaching happens. Especially in your first and second year, you'll be here quite a bit. Now, it's a little bit windy, so we're going to quickly get inside so I can show you the anatomy museum, the anatomy lab, and all the wonderful specimens that are on show, uh, because there's a lot of history and it's everywhere. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get inside. Now we're just going to head up to the anatomy museum but actually along our way there is plenty of history to see everywhere. There's a mixture of modern medicine and historical medicine and there's a big elephant behind me as well. So plenty to see and very aesthetic. Now we're here in Edinburgh Medical School's anatomy museum. Now this museum has over 15,000 specimens and as well as a museum it's a study space where students all over the medical school can come to have this space to study. Now, it's very aesthetically pleasing, and one of the reasons for that is because it was built in 1884. Therefore, it really captures the history and the architecture behind the medical school. Okay, so we are in Edinburgh's Anatomy Lecture Theatre, and as you can tell by the design, it's sort of got stairs and seats going up the way because all the way a few centuries ago, 
bodies used to come in through here in the middle and then everybody would sit all the way up at the top to look down at what's going on. So this was designed and opened in sort of the 1880s and now medical students in the 21st century are experiencing that same atmosphere that centuries ago medical students did as well. So it's a very cool environment to study in. All right, so the next part of our tour will consist of the anatomy teaching lab. The first and second years come here quite a bit to see real cadaveric models. Edinburgh does prosection, which means students have plenty of time to familiarise themselves with structures. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the video now and I kind of forgot to film an outro. So how else do we end this video? I guess a recap or a summary would be a nice way to do it. I'm not here to persuade you to come to Edinburgh Medical School. Wherever you study medicine, you'll have a brilliant experience. But what I can say is that I made the right decision to come study medicine at Edinburgh. There are very few careers out there that are as rewarding as medicine. And yes, it's not a perfect career. It's a very difficult career actually, and it will have its ups and downs. But you need a place that can support you. You need a place to prepare you for whatever this career throws at you. This is the next chapter of your life. Are you ready to take the next step?